think I'm ready for my close-up Hey you guys, this is my kid. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And in this video, I'll be talking to you guys about this hair. Isn't she pretty? And you guys would not believe that this is a wig. This is a wig. This is a wig. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it from the beginning to the end and how we got to this, how I got to this. And you guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, make sure you subscribe. I will surely appreciate that. Join the family. If you guys don't want to make individual lock, I did just previously did an installation video on how you could do them in your head. So I will put them in the video. And you guys check out the description box. So you guys stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna be sharing all the details. But if you want to see how I made this wig, then keep watching. For previous videos on the goddess locks here they are in the video and the links will be in the description box below so you guys check it out okay so this video is going to be quick and the tutorial is going to be quick so first i'm taking my pronto and i'm measuring it from eye to eye for me i think it's going to be long enough and so this is how it looks when i cut it off the length that i want and then i sewed it in off camera and then i started tweezing at the hairline to make it look natural as possible And for time's sake, I just braided it. I braided, part and braided it off camera. And this is how it looks. And I'm just showing you guys right here how I put the locks in it. It's the same way, the new technique and everything, the same way how you do it, crocheting and everything. So I'm just showing you guys again. Okay, so I took the hook, bring it through the hair. I take the hair, my hair of choice. I put my hair on the hook, bring it through, and I start wrapping that. And when I get to the ends of that, I'm gonna take some nail glue to keep it in place. And it doesn't matter on this, it's just, this is a wig, I want it to stay in place longer, so I'm using nail glue. And then I do the same exact process for the rest of the locks. And of course you guys do not have to use one of these caps, you can use a braiding cap, or you can use one of those caps that, those new neck caps that they, you can use now for wigs, crochet wigs or whatever, but I wanted to use a cap. And of course, I did the rest off camera because you know recording and doing stuff takes a long time. If you guys don't know, it does. So <laughs> for time's sake, I did the rest off camera. Okay, so right now I'm taking the needle and I'm bringing it through the frontal and the cap. And when I get to almost to the end, I leave a couple of inches of the thread left. And then I'm gonna take my, um, my lock, bring it through that loop, and then I go back through it again. I kind of tie it like I'm tying a shoestring. I wish I did a better angle, you guys, so you guys can see how my hands is tying the thread. But this is what I, I have right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. And I cut the piece of the, um, I cut the piece of the thread that's still connected to the needle and I cut that and I put both ends together and I make a knot. And for security for the knot so they won't come down, I put nail glue on the ends and that is how I did the rest of them. That's how I installed all of these in the head. And it took me a little minute to do that and I did that off camera to save time also. <laughs> okay, right now I'm cutting the rest of the cap off under the frontal. And um, and then I'm gonna put it back on my mannequin head and I'm gonna finish cutting the lace off in the front. And right here I'm just showing you guys how close I have the locks close together because I want it to look natural as possible right there. And that part is sitting on top of the head and I want it to look clean. And I'm on a, and I, I sewn combs in off camera. I'm sorry you guys that I didn't show that, but I sewn combs in the cap so it can be more secure. And right now I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put my net on. And I'm gonna put my wig on. So 
So to darken up the parts a little bit, I just took a eyebrow pencil, brown one, and I just colored where the lock, beginning of the locks are to make it look more natural. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed wig, and this is how it looks. Okay, the details about this wig. In the, the individual locks that are sewn in here is 170. And the frontal, oh, I forgot. I'm gonna count it and I'm put in the description box. The wig took me longer than expected. I thought that this wig was gonna take me about two weeks. It took me longer than that. And then let me explain why. <laughs> let me explain why. Okay, when I first started on this wig, I start, started the locks. The locks were, it took me about two weeks. At first I made, I made 100, thinking that that was gonna be enough. But, by, by my surprise, it was not. So I had to go back and make some more. So took forever to get here. It took about how long did this thing take to get here? About three weeks. So that's extra on top of what I wanted to do. So all in total, it took about two months and a half. I take forever making anything, doing anything. Ask anybody I know. I take forever to do anything. Not to discourage anybody and say this is how long it's going to take, but it's just this is how long it took me. So if you guys want to know anything about the locks, the goddess locks, the ombre, the ombre goddess locks or anything, you guys, I want you guys to go over to my Instagram. It's my Kia only. And I want you guys to go over there. It is linked in my description box so you guys look at that. And I want you guys to leave your questions there. I hope this video was helpful and informational. If it was, give me some thumbs up. I surely appreciate it. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.